Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, we are looking at question B8 of the 2021 Science Paper 1 GCE paper. Uh, question B8 reads, figure B8.1 shows an electrical circuit containing two resistors. So here is our circuit. We've got an EMF of 16 volts, a switch, an open switch, an ammeter, a 6 ohm resistor and a 2 ohm resistor so those are the circuit components that are in our circuit all right so let's uh, go to the first question so the first question a is saying on figure b8.1 draw on the circuit to show how a voltmeter will be used to measure the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor so here we are supposed to draw on the diagram, okay, uh, a voltmeter connected so that it can measure the, re the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor. So let's get back to our diagram. Uh, let me just zoom in a, a little on our diagram. So the one thing that we should know is that a voltmeter is always connected parallel to the circuit component whose potential difference is being measured so it should be parallel okay uh -huh. while the ammeter here is always connected in series with the circuit component so here parallel means that the voltmeter will be here v okay then one terminal of the voltmeter will be connected on the other side of the 6 ohm resistor and the other terminal will be connected on the other side of the 6 ohm resistor. So this is how the voltmeter is supposed to be connected to measure the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor. All right, we zoom out and we go to question B. So question B is saying when the switch s is closed take note of this point when the switch s is closed calculate the current through the ammeter when the switch s is closed the examiner knows that as long as the switch remains open you cannot measure the current because there will be no current flowing through the circuit current can only flow throughout the circuit if the switch is closed and always take note of where the switch is placed. Sometimes it may be placed in a branch, okay? Where uh, if it is open, current will flow through the other branch, okay? Uh -huh. So when the switch S is calculate the current. So for us to calculate the current, we need to calculate first the resistance from the total resistance of the circuit. So we know that the two resistors, these two resistors are connected in series. So it becomes easier for us to calculate the resistance. So allow me to calculate the resistance here. So the total resistance of the circuit, R total, is equal to, we have two resistors, R1 plus R2. So having that, so the total resistance is equal to 6 plus 2. So total resistance is equal to 8 ohms so this is our total resistance so that is that but the uh, emf of the battery is 16 volts 16 volts so we now need to calculate the current so from ohms law from ohms law we have v is equal to current times resistance meaning that current is equal to voltage over resistance okay Bearing that in mind, we're going to have current is equal to voltage, which is 16 over what? Total resistance 8. What is 16 over 8? 16 divided by 8 is 2. So our current is 2 amps. So we have our 2 amps there. So we have 2 amps there. So we go to C. C is saying what is is the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor so what is the potential difference across the 6 ohm so now take note of the following these are in, in series meaning that the potential difference across each resistor as long as the resistance is not the same will be different okay okay that is how we uh, 
analyze uh, resistors in series. The potential difference across its resistor is different. If they were in parallel, the potential difference across each resistor will be the same. However, here, the, uh, uh, the current flowing through each resistor is the same. So if, like we found, the current flowing through the circuit is 2 amperes, it means that the current flowing through the 6 ohm resistor is the same as the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor and it is equal to 2. So to calculate the potential difference, knowing very well from Ohm's law that V Okay, knowing very well that uh, V is equal to current times resistance. So what we're going to have is V is equal to current, which is two amperes, multiplied by the resistance, which is six. So we have two times six, so V is equal to 12 volts. So the potential difference across the six ohm resistor is 12 volts, 12, 12 volts. So that is the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the notification button. If uh, you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, any queries, please don't hesitate to leave the query or the comment in the comment section i will gladly get back to you if you have any requests please now is the time all right thank you very much